safe to state that the grandchildren of some of the people in this theater will not be born on Earth. The 60s saw the biggest shift in the zombies history, from dropping the entire voodoo roots motif to going into the insanely bizarre before reaching its status as the horror movie monster we all know of today. By the start of this decade, we would see Hollywood essentially give up on zombies, as they did everything they could do with voodoo zombies, and saw no way to extend the creature's interest for the silver screen. With interest dying off, zombies would be featured in the strangest and most obscure films of all time, enter 1959's Plan 9 from Outer Space. Regarded as one of the worst films ever made by the widely reported worst director of all time, Ed Wood set out to make yet another one of his beloved monster movies inspired by the golden age of horror movies that he grew up with. To get a better understanding of this movie requires an understanding of Ed Wood first. I could do an entire series on this man alone, so we'll only go over some general key points. Ed Wood was a film director who loved the craft of filmmaking, but lacked the talent in the field, but that wouldn't stop him from producing movies. He would lie, con, and borrow money to fund his projects, and was known to have a fondness for horror movie monsters, themes, and science fiction since he grew up with the Universal Monsters. He would try to emulate them in his work, and he featured Bela Lugosi in a lot of his films since he idolized him. Plan 9 from Outer Space would be his latest film flop among a slew of eyebrow-raising films. Plan 9 tells the story of aliens who would come to Earth in an attempt to stop humans from using a doomsday weapon that would destroy the world, so in order to do this, they enact Plan 9, which brings back the dead to life in order to attack the living. They refer to these creatures as ghouls in the film, even though they were zombies in every sense of the word. Plan 9 was another one of Wood's bizarre films pitting aliens against zombies versus vampires versus Dracula versus people and had an anti-war theme wrapped up in a half-assed editing and production value whose overall presentation didn't make a lick of sense and did the zombies no favor in restoring faith to this horror movie monster. Still, Ed Wood and his movies would gain a massive cult following as the years went on, but for the zombies? Well, they would have to continue on the decade being in obscure content. Join us next time as we continue our look into the zombie shift in history. <laughs>